Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. The 21st century world demands for 21st century technology and infrastructure to meet the aspirations of the people of the nation. On that note, in this video, we will focus on what the government of Tamil Nadu has planned to help the capital city of Chennai reach its impeccable potential in the times to come. Also, what are the efforts put in by the private industries to help develop the infrastructure of the capital city in order to meet the growing demands of the citizens of Chennai. But before we proceed, I would request you to please like, share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon positively to remain updated. Also, do watch this video till the end if you want to know what's coming up special in this beautiful city of Chennai. Moreover, I would request you to watch the upcoming mega projects in the state of Tamil Nadu, the link of which is given in the i button. Chennai is the capital city of the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. Located on the Coromandel coast of the Bay of Bengal, it is the largest cultural, economic and educational center of South India. According to the 2011 Indian census, Chennai is the sixth most populous city and forms the fourth most populous urban agglomeration in India. The state is continuous with Chennai district which together with the adjoining suburb constitutes the Chennai metropolitan area, the 36th largest urban area in the world world by population. The Chennai metropolitan area is one of the largest municipal economies of India. More than one third of India's automobile industry being based in the city. Home to the Tamil film industry, Chennai is also known as a major film production centre. It is one of the 100 Indian cities to be developed as a smart city under the Smart Cities mission. Recent estimates of the economy of the entire Chennai metropolitan area range from $78.6 to $86 billion, ranking it from 4th to 6th most productive metro areas of India. Chennai is a broad industrial base in the automobile, computer technology, hardware manufacturing and healthcare sectors. Chennai has a diversified economic base anchored by the automobile, software services, hardware manufacturing, healthcare and financial services industries. Looking at the state government's recent policies, it is expected that the state's economy is all set to reach $1 billion by the end of this decade. Having understood various facets of the city of Chennai, let us tap into the top 5 biggest mega projects coming up in the city of Chennai. Beautiful projects are lined up to improve the standard of living of the people of the region will move in the descending order depending on the nature of the project. Fifth up is the mega desalination plant. Chennai has been a victim of water crisis in recent years and it is expected to grow in the times to come. Hence, government is planning to come up with solutions in order to address the future crisis which can jolt the city badly. The second desalination plant to be built at a cost of Rs 1,259.38 crore at Nemmeli with the capacity to desalinate 150 million litres per day is expected to be completed by 2023. The Chief Minister inspected the ongoing works for the second desalination park at Nemeli recently. Under this project, work on laying pipelines to Pallavaram to supply the desalinated water are going on. The water to be received from this plant will be supplied to 9 lakh people residing in Ullagaram, St. Thomas Mount, Pallavaram and IT Corridor. Chennai depends on the northeast monsoon for meeting its drinking water requirements since there is no perennial water resources around and the city suffers as it fails to give enough water. Moving to the fourth position is the Chennai Marina Beach Development. Mega projects like tourist facilities and various adventure activities are being installed to increase the traffic of tourists in the region. The Tamil Nadu Tourism Development Corporation and Royal Madras Yacht Club will jointly introduce boating and various water sports including wind sailing and speed boats at the Marina Beach in Chennai. Moreover, a floating restaurant would be set up in the boat house at Muttokudu, located about 35 km from Chennai city on the east coast road. The boat house set up by TDDC in Mukkadutu in Muttukadu is offering various boating and water sport activities and the floating restaurant is expected to increase footfalls to the tourist spots. Also, a cafeteria would be developed to encourage water sports and beach play activities there. Aiming to attract young tourists who are into adventure sports, the Tamil Nadu Tourism Development would develop paragliding, zip lining, bungee slingshot, rock climbing, nature walks and camping sites at Yelagiri. 
The third position has been taken by the intelligent transport system. It goes without saying that cities in India are suffering from plenty of problems like traffic snarls and road blockages due to poor parking facilities and various other reasons. In order to answer these questions posed by the city's growing ecosystem, the government has already completed the preliminary work on development of the Chennai Metropolitan Area Intelligent Transport System. The 660 crore project has received loan assistance from Japan International Cooperation Agency. The project is meant to construct an efficient traffic system to meet the increasing traffic demands in the Chennai metropolitan area. The area traffic signal control system and junction improvement for 159 crossings in the first phase of the project is expected to reduce travel time through better management of signals. All signals along a particular corridor will be operated from the control center. Currently the signals are manually operated causing traffic congestion. In addition to the 159 road junctions, 192 more junctions will be covered in the second phase. The major components proposed in the intelligent transport system include Chennai traffic information system, traffic management system and city bus system. Another aspect of the project is the variable message sign system. It will be installed at 17 locations. Motorists will know which road is blocked. This will give information about alternative routes as well. The city will also get a CC the city will also get a CCTV based traffic monitoring system to improve better coordination between traffic integrated command and control center would enable swift response for movement of emergency vehicles the project would facilitate and decongestion of key junctions based on sensory monitoring of traffic volume it would improve safety for pedestrians and cyclists The second position is taken by the upcoming mega sea bridge to reduce traffic congestion in north chennai caused by movement of containers to port the state government urged the center to build a 7.6 km long sea bridge connecting gate number 1 of chennai port and manali road tiruvattur junction the state has asked the nhai to prepare a feasibility report for the project which may have a suspension superstructure for unimpeded movement of fishing vessels to the kasimedu harbor Traffic volume particularly container traffic to Chennai port has increased many fold over the last two decades. Movement and parking has become unmanageable for general road users. Under the Ennore Manali road improvement project Ennore expressway from gate number 1 from gate number 1 of Chennai port has already been developed by NHAI into a four lane highway with service roads on both sides. The agency also collects user fee for the stretch. The state government believes it is high time a permanent solution is found to address the problem of traffic congestion and accidents and ensure smooth movement for container trucks it will not be possible to expand the tiruvattur highway due to population density of the localities abutting the road and its proximity to the sea The first position is grabbed by the multimodal logistics hub. Union Minister for Port Shipping and Waterways Shri Sarvanand Sonowal has announced forming of a special purpose vehicle for the development of a multimodal logistics park at VOC Port in Chennai. The MMLP is to be developed through public private partnership with the SPV providing land and connectivity and the actual MMLP infrastructure to be developed by a private developer. The multimodal logistic part would facilitate infrastructure for enabling seamless multimodal freight transport and specialized storage solutions such as cold storage warehouses equipped with mechanized material handling and intermodal transfer terminals for containers bulk and brake bulk cargo further the mmlp would be offering value added services such as customs clearance bonded storage yards quarantine zones testing facilities warehousing management services post manufacturing activities such as kitting and final assembly grading sorting labeling packaging etc the chennai port Authority has acquired a land parcel of 121.74 acres on a 99 year lease basis from Sipcot for the purpose of developing a dry port. This land located in Mappedu village near Sri Perambadur is strategically located near the major automobile industrial clusters. Also on its own is developing as a warehousing hub of Chennai. With this we have come to the end of this video. It goes without saying that Chennai is all set to drive the Indian economy in the right direction. Picking up the top 5 was difficult as there were many mega projects in the pipeline. Please like, share and subscribe the channel to remain updated about various mega projects coming up in different parts of the nation. Signing off with a promise that coming up next is the mega project in the financial hub of India, Mumbai. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Jai Hind.